My name's Dane, and I'm an Applications Engineer here at Hawk Ridge Systems. Today, I'm going to show you how I used a design study to optimize the location of the center of mass for a spinning top with an asymmetric shape. As you can see, the asymmetry of the geometry causes the center of mass to be offset from the axes of rotation. For ideal performance, I want the center of mass located on the axes as close to the contact surface as possible. To move the center of mass, I'm going to add some geometry to act as a counterbalance which will shift the center of mass. Looking at my front view, I can see that the center of mass does not line up along the x-axis, and looking at my right view, I can see the z-axis is slightly off as well. To balance this top, I'm going to add two extrusions to the base. To balance off the z-axis, I'm going to add a quarter circle shape in the xz quadrant. I have a sensor monitoring the location of the center of mass along the z-axis. And using Instant 3D, I'm going to manipulate the height of the extrusion to see how my center of mass is affected. The center of mass will pass the axes of rotation between about 3.4 and 3.5 millimeters, which is a good starting point for our design study. The further I zoom in, the more resolution I can get in my ruler, However, I have to keep in mind the capability of the manufacturing process I'm going to be using to create this top. Now that I have a rough range of values, I'm going to create a design study to tabulate the results. I first need to define my variables for the design study. I've defined the height of the extrusion as a variable and called it my Z balance height. I will range this variable between 3.45 and 3.5 millimeters with a step size of 0.001 millimeters. I'm going to add the sensor that monitors the center of mass location along the z-axis, but I'm only going to monitor the value. This setup will give me 51 scenarios, but I will stop the study as soon as the sign of the sensor value changes. As we can see, in the 18th scenario, the center of mass is almost directly on the axis of rotation with respect to that z direction. The next extrusion is going to be a brick offset from the axis of rotation in the x direction. Using Instant 3D, I'm going to find a range for the next design study. Watching my sensor in the Feature Manager design tree, I can see the sign is flipping between 4.3 and 4.35 millimeters. For this design study, the variable is going to be the height of the extrusion, and it's going to range between the previously stated values with a step size of 0.001 millimeters. We're going to monitor the sensor for the position of the center of mass in the x direction. Running this study, we will find that scenario 11 has the center of mass located on the axes of rotation. In a design study, you can run multiple variables at once and obtain some useful metrics in the form of graphs or from the tables. In this design study, I'm going to range the Z balance height between 3 and 4 millimeters and the X balance height between 4 and 5 millimeters. This is going to be a coarser study, so I will only step every 0.1 millimeters. Instead of only monitoring the center of mass sensors, I'm going to put a constraint on them to help filter the results. I'm looking for results where both center of mass locations are within plus or minus 0.009 millimeters of the axes. On the results page, any scenarios that do not fall within the constraints are highlighted in red. We can see there are seven scenarios that meet the criteria. We can also display these results graphically to pinpoint where the center of masses are closest to zero in both directions. If you have Simulation Professional, there is an optimization feature added to your design studies. Optimization allows you to set your variables in a range, then define goals for the study. In this example, our goal is to get the sensor values to zero. After running the study, SolidWorks will pick the optimal values for your variables where both goals are closest to being satisfied. You can also generate plots to understand the effects your variables have on your goals. To summarize, the powerful design study tools in SolidWorks enables product engineers to evaluate specific performance and usage scenarios 
during design and perform design optimization using a uniform workflow. Design studies enable you to evaluate multiple scenarios for your design. You specify discrete values for each variable and use sensors as constraints. The software runs the study using various combinations of the values and then reports the output for each combination so you can find the best design scenario for your product.